happy Monday. I am having a bit of an admin day today. I uh, just had a client call to discuss a future project, which is going to be a hutch for her kitchen. Uh, looking forward to that. It was a good, good conversation. The design is going to be sexy. Um, I am currently working on the vlog and I'm in my office doing that. And I gotta tell you guys, it's been like a month since I've even been able to see my desk because the office just got out of control. So I spent a little bit of time this morning reorganizing and it is still far from clean, but at least I can see my desk. So I'm pretty pumped about that. It's nice to be back in here working. I mean, I enjoy working at the kitchen table, but this is my place, you know, this is my jam. No, it's not. It's not that cool. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to this. I will see you all in a bit. Can't wait to start going make some sawdust. All right, bye. Well, I am done for the day. Got a ton of admin done and I just finished installing my new dado stack. My intention was get it set up, get comfortable with how it works and everything like that. And then tomorrow I could just come out and just start cutting dados for the desk. But guess what? I forgot about something. This insert is for a six inch dado stack, not the eight inch that I bought. Mm. Is it a big deal? No, I can either make a new one or buy a new one. Either way, I'm grumpy as shit about it because now I gotta take the time to deal with it. <laughs> Such a stupid thing to be grumpy about, but I don't care. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I will be the first to admit I'm an idiot. Yep. So yesterday, got the dado stack all set up, trying to put the dado insert in with the blade at full height. Who cuts a dado at full height? No, no one. Insane people, maybe. But really, no one. Okay, so now I've lowered it to where I actually need it. Now, it fits. It, I have to say, it is a little close on the front edge, which kind of makes me nervous, but it does rotate without making contact. But damn. So, crisis averted. That little grumpy sesh I had yesterday can just be ignored. We'll pretend like that never happened. All right, I'm gonna get to work. I will see you all later. Bye. Section number one, section number two, section number four. Number three, I will do tomorrow. These are far from done. These false panels still need to be cut to size and everything. It's too hard to explain why I even have those, so you'll see that in the future. That is a wrap for today. Dados are all cut. Well, the majority of the dados are cut. I have a few others that I will have to do as I go along. But for now, that's it. Got a bunch of glue ups done. Uh, I still gotta do that one. Manana. Moving right along. It won't be too long before this is starting to actually look like a desk. And then of course it's, you know, like years worth of finishing that it takes to actually get it done. But hey, whatever. I did get uh, two of them, the first and fourth section up on wheels. So that's nice to be able to move them out of the way. This middle one, I don't have enough casters for them or wheels, whatever the hell you want to call them. But uh, it's kind of awkward to move anyway until it's done. So anyway, I am done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to be back at the desk today. We'll see how far I get. But one thing I want to tell you guys, I bought this uh, pack from AWP about a month ago, and I have to say I've been loving wearing it. Uh, I don't love how the weight is on my hip and everything, but this is actually like their electrician's pack, I think, which is funny because all the ones for carpenters just weren't quite what I was looking for. But I love that I just have a spot to drop my tape measure in without trying to fuss with getting it clipped on my pants or something. So having worn this like every day for the past several weeks, I'm starting to really see the value in an apron. So 
If you wear an apron and you love it, let me know what you got. What do you love about it? What do you not like about it? I wanna learn from all of you on mistakes. I can't believe I'm gonna become an apron person, but I totally see the value of it now. All right, I'm gonna get to work. See ya. All right, I'm wrapping up early for today. Got a ton done on these. And you know what? Now that they're all completely assembled, I was able to better utilize my dollies. So now each one is mobile. How convenient. Makes it so much easier to come bring one out, work on it, and then put it away. Move them out of the way. Still have a ton done. I mean, a ton to do with these, but at least it's finally looking like something. Like, like cabinets, I guess. I don't know. I don't care. At least it looks more like something than like plywood. I am struggling to speak today, people. I haven't really even gone through any of your comments on aprons and stuff like that. Kind of looking, but just trying to kick peaches, you know? Shop's a mess. I look forward to cleaning that soon. You can't even see my table saw. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have yourselves a good night. See ya. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm going to be back at the desk today. See if we can make some more progress on that. Uh, I did a bunch of admin this morning because it's October 1st, which means you got to close out the previous month's books. Thankfully, I have streamlined that process pretty darn well, so it really only takes a little bit of time, but, you know, then I think of a thousand other things that I have to do while I'm at the computer, so all that gets done. And I cleaned up in here a little bit. Probably can't tell, but I can. Um... All of your comments on aprons yesterday. First of all, I'm surprised by how many of you are Aprons Full Life fans and not as many of you were like, nah, they lame as shit. I, I was expecting more of that, but hey. I totally went through everything that you guys had to say, went on Amazon and found one that fulfills everything you guys complained about or were raving about, which was pretty good. So a lot of you were talking about the Jonathan Katz Moses one. Price is great, but your biggest complaint on that one is that it has open pockets in the front, which means it catches a ton of sawdust, which I just vacuumed this out today. Believe me, I understand that complaint. So I heated that one. Um, a lot of you talked about like Calavera and like traditional leather ones. Y'all said those are hot as can be. So nix that. Plus those are wicked expensive. Not my game. Um, a lot of people recommended like waxed canvas, so I went with one of those. What I found was literally $30 on Amazon. I will share it once I've had a chance to use it and show it to all of you. Um, the big thing about that one that I really liked is that it has like the um, like kangaroo pouch, plus actual pouches, plus a little spot to hang your glasses, plus a little magnetic thing in the front. Like, come on, that's fancy as shit. Um, yeah, I had one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about that, but I don't remember. I remembered the big issue that I'm going to have with any one of these aprons is length. So the one that I bought is 33 inches long, which means if I wear it like up at my neck, it's going to be down past my knees. Like I'm 5'3", like 5'4 on a good day. That's just long. So I'm already thinking like, okay, how can I shorten it? There's a big section like that I'm not going to need. So I might like Velcro it up or I don't know, like have my mom sew it or something. Yeah, I don't sew. What, you guys thought I did some like female things? Like, no, I do manly shit. Like, that's, a, that's about it, people. I'm kidding. I do some feminine things. And then I belch just to even it out. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I'll see you guys later. Bye. That's a wrap for today. It's coming along, people. Finally. For those of you who watched my post, that stupid video of me, um, and you were like, what the hell is she doing? Like, typing underneath. Well, let me explain that this shelf here, which didn't exist in the video, but I added just now, um, is going to have drawer slides on it and a tray that will pull out and you literally type out here. I mean, I, I know that's like kind of old fashioned. Y'all are just doing it on your screens now, but hey, there are some people 
who still use desktops with keyboards. I, I know, blows my mind. I'm one of them. But anyway, it's looking like a desk. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming along. Still have a ton to do, but that's okay. It's always tomorrow. Ooh, I got something to show you guys. Hang on. I got a goodie in the mail from Casey at Clarkmanship. Let me flip you around and show you what it says. It says, Jesus was a carpenter. Oh yeah. If you guys know me in real life, you know that if you use the Lord's name in front of me and there's nothing coming after it, so you just say, Jesus, I will finish your sentence. I will tell you, was a carpenter. Because you can't just use his name like that. That is not allowed, not in front of me. And when I saw Casey's shirt, I had to have it. So thanks, Casey. Go give him a follow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Back at the desk today. Um, I took some time this morning to order a few parts that I need for it. Um, I'm doing knockdown joinery to connect these parts because it comes in three pieces. And then this one here. So what I'm going to do is use these connector bolts that will have like a flat head on one side and a flat head on the other, but that will allow them to come together. Um, and then if they ever wanted to take these apart and like just have the desk portion and then put this in like a different room or something, they can do that just with a tiny little hole there, which no big deal. Um, another thing that I had to order was a vent deflector because we realized that there's a, um, a heating vent which will be directly underneath this section, which actually works out perfectly. So I ordered a deflector which will send the heat from underneath through this hollow area to the front. And then I ordered this, which I'm gonna install right on the front here. Should so it should work perfectly. I do have to trim it down ever so slightly, but fingers crossed that that works. I'm gonna wait to install that until it's actually, well, I think I'm gonna wait until it's actually in the house and do it right then on site just to make sure I get the placement perfect. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna be working on face frames today. I'm not exactly sure. Got a lot jumbled in my brain right now. I'm trying to sort through it all. So, whew, happy Friday. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Made some more progress today. Got the majority of the face frames done. I need to do one more frame on the end of that one and all underneath there just to finish it off completely. Definitely making some progress. Next up is the shelves and the drawers and all that good stuff. Friday is done and so am I. It's time to go enjoy my weekend and not do woodworking and try not to even think about it. But I did get face frames done. Yay! Now I'm dizzy. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm not in the shop today, but I am back in the kitchen. If you guys remember, we did the cabinets like forever ago, and the kitchen is far from done. Next up on the list is this light here. I would like to replace it with one single can light to match the rest of them, but when I take this down, it depends on where the existing box is on what we can do. So if the box is in the center, this way, I can, this way, um, then I can replace it with one. However, if the box is over to one of the sides, then that means that there's probably a joist going right in the middle of that. And then I can't do one in the center. I'd have to do two. So that's worst case. Either way, I'm going to get this down right now. So I already got the power off. Let's see what's behind door number one. Well, light number one. Okay, bye. I'm at Home Depot and I have to pick out a can. So because I am using an existing hole and I don't want to open it up and really have to do a lot of patchwork, what I'm looking for is a remodel housing. So these are considered old work. You really just get the can and you can shove that inside. 
But if you have it wide open and you have access to the joist or you want to patch it, then what you're looking for is a new construction, um, which this is a new construction here. See, this will actually attach to the joist. So it's helpful to know what you're looking for. And this goes for pretty much all electrical stuff. They have new and old work stuff. So get whichever one you need and think ahead. And uh, yeah, all right. So I'm going to grab one of these and get out of here. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Well, today ended up being way more productive than I intended. Got the light in, got the two new out, uh, light switches in, also swapped out two outlets, and then I painted the ceiling and the wall. So it is all done. I need to do all the trim. I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna paint the wood casing and then actually do some new white trim around the window. I still have to do the door, that door, that window, and all the baseboards, and all of that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> Far from done, but hey, every house is a work in progress, right? I gotta say though, I can't believe how much I got done today with all of that. I just set out to just get the light done. I was honestly expecting it to take all day, so the fact that I so the fact that I got all of that done was just a huge bonus. And for those of you who are wondering why I didn't go with a pendant, the main reason is because my kitchen is small and I have these four pendants and then another matching four right there above the kitchen table. So I thought it would be a little excessive. Plus there's not a lot of room between the window and there. And I really didn't want it hanging down, disturbing my view because I love the view of my backyard. I want to see it. Mm. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. We had a bunch left over from the rest of the renovation. So it matches perfectly. It's awesome. I'm pumped about it. And now I am going to go enjoy my Saturday. I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, nice throw. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's bad.